Welcome back from that commercial break. And as you can see, uh, things turned a little foul here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So two weeks in a row, three weeks in a row, I leave here. I go to a national park looking for you, and you just don't want to show up. You want to keep saying Pleasant Parisi, message received. Game time's over. And here's the thing, Dan, Dan the cold one here. I'll, I'll stop choking the chicken now. Yeah, thank, thank you. We've got children present. I'm telling you right now, VIP, you have you have ruffled some feathers, so to speak, in Dan the cold one. You guys, oh my goodness. and look, wait, what? You hijack production too? Do me a favor. I'll pick you up. I'll meet you at Burbank Airport. I'll meet you at LX. Wherever you're at, easy. Where you at, VIP? He's, get, he's, he, he's, willing, he's willing to drive you in himself. Invitation has been set. I mean, I'll come carry on. his bags. Look at that. Carry your bags. Carry your bags. Look I got to pay my dues somehow. Remember, I'm the green guy in the room. I've only been here a little over a year. So, I mean, I just want the champion back. We've got in, unbelievable competitors that deserve the shot at the title. I'm talking about El Principe. I'm talking about a rematch between him and uh, El Presidente. I mean, the list yeah. goes on and on and on. Oh, it keeps going. It keeps going. I mean, we've got Jet Jameson looking to get involved with it. We've got, uh, you know, Dante Devante looking to get in on this. We've got so many people looking to make this happen and looking to get a part of this. And and we got our next uh, our next combatant probably trying to get in on this. So, I mean, I am looking forward to when Parisi makes his return. Give I know me, you are. <laughs> give me Ultimo Principe Parisi, Mr. VIP, August 15th, first live show back. I call him my shot. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see that championship on the line and see what would happen. In old man, Ultimo Principe. What a my, clash what, of styles. What, the that powerhouse, the grit, and the termination of Mr. VIP, the OG, the ring general. There are plenty of adjectives to use, including the word chicken. Going up against Ultimate Prince Bay. Enough, would... though. Enough about chickens. Okay. We've got no a show chicken. to do. We're going to continue to do it. LIW Universe, I see you. 6.59. We've already got one weapon released. We are less than 400. We'll release another one. We've got the real McKeel. We've got Gino Rivera. Let's get this show going. That's right. Here we go. If you're ready, we're ready. Let's do this. Here he is, standing five foot five, weighing 165 pounds from Brooklyn, New York. Is Gino Rivera! Take a good look. He is the Frank Sinatra of the Spanish Mafia. He is a 12-year veteran of this business. This young man has left his mark. He runs his old school, for Christ's sake. You don't get much more experience than this guy right here. And look at the intensity in his eyes. His mantra coming down the ring. I'm going to break his neck. He is not short of confidence and not short of pain delivery methods. That's right. He can hit you up, hit you down, take you out any way you need. And you better believe he's going to need to bring every single part of that to get the real kill. Oh, look at here. Ashes <laughs> Playing a little mind games with the ref right now. Absolutely. He is also a proud alumni of Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy as well. However, tonight he is here at the Knox Pro Domain making his debut right here live every Tuesday on Powerbomb. And tonight, this is his opportunity. We talked about it. The core values of the Knox Pro Academy access, opportunity, exposure. You get the access to the very best training in all of California, the Count of California, the WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, Miro, Orlando Jordan. David Heath, formerly of get, known as Gangrel. There are so many bodies that are willing to give you the knowledge and the lessons they've been taught along the way. And tonight he absorbs his opportunity. That's right. Great. Great. And here we go. His opponent, standing 5'11, weighing 225 pounds from Rich Crest, California. He is the real Mike. Let's make something very crystal clear. Seems like Gino Rivero has a lot of confidence. But when you go up against a Knox Pro OG, a 12-year veteran of this business, a true leader in this sport, the personification of a standing ovation, that is real. That's right. But, and here he is, the real McKeel, bringing all that, all that is great to the ring. You better believe when he says the real McKeel has come, he means business. 
I don't think sometimes the fans will truly absorb what he means by real. Yes, we've seen the ego of the real McKeel on occasion or two, but when he mentions the word real, that means when you get in that ring with someone like him, it becomes real. It is no longer reality. That's right. Oh, whoa, reality. Whoa, whoa. Speaking of reality. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gino Rivera bringing reality to the real McKeel. My goodness. I thought about bringing it. it. Look at that bit drop. There we go. We got one. And now two weapons have been released. Boy, Gino just absolutely punishing the real And we've already got two weapons released. That's right. Two weapons are released. That's right. Which of the two weapons will they grab? Well, at this moment, Gino Rivera using his shoulder as a weapon, driving it to the lower rib cage of the real McKinnon. We have never seen a upstart like Gino Rivera, you know, coming right. through these doors and just bringing it. I know the real McKeel hasn't even got off his, uh, his outfit yet. He's still trying to get into his ring attire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man. Gino Rivera, this the Frank Sinatra of the Spanish Mafia. And here we go. And look at that. Upper European uppercut. Oh! oh! Real well, McKeel. Well, I tell you what, all that talking stops real quick when you get a couple right hands to the jaw. That's right, but turning it around again, Gino able to make this happen. Well, you better be here, careful. I mean, again, like I, I was mentioning at the top here, the real McKeel is, you know, it becomes real, real, real fast. We saw that early. Keep those bits of dropping. I see you there, Devious Bear. Gino knows how to start this match. Yeah. I don't know if it was smart to start the match that way because now the punishment is coming courtesy of the real McKeel. Well, you see, Gino Rivera has been around the block for quite a while. He's wrestled all over, wrestles many different styles, and he is ready. I mean, he's doing his best to stay up with Well, the I think real he just McKeel. lost a tooth with those big-time right-hand haymakers of yeah. the real McKeel. So the real McKeel ain't done either. No, sitting across the ring. With whoa, 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 whoa. The clothesline, here we go. Comes out to the middle of the ring. What's he got planned? Boy, Gino scouted the drop kick and oh, an atomic splash. There we go. Finds its mark, and Gino Rivera able to a quick cover the answer. Here. Able to find the answer to the real McKeel, no matter what is going on right now. Oh. Once, a, once again, two of those weapons are released. Whatever weapons those gentlemen choose to use, Two of those weapons are released. Boy, you gotta love the the outwit, outsmart, eight get out game kind of game plan of the real McKeel. Oh, look at that! Turn that into a hip toss neck break. My goodness, the innovation on display. Well, Gino Rivera needs a timeout. He says, "Hold on a second. Wow. Hold on a second. But that, I... th but this business wasn't built on timeouts. This built business was built on athleticism, strength, and versatility. Oh, putting caution to the wind, flying through the air, the real McKeel." Boy, I tell you what, putting it all on the line for all you, the LIW universe. The surreal, the thrill, says Grace Phil Grimson, Street Glide Pablo, giving it what he knows. And boy, I tell you what, these two are not holding back right now. Not at all. And here we go, the refs count up to five. The real McKeel gets in. There it is. Two weapons are released, and it looks like the real McKeel calling to the LIW universe saying, which one do you want? Which one? Which, which one, one do you want? Uh, which one you guys want? Boy, the there LIW Universe, the real McKeel is calling on you. Which one do you want? He says, you know what? I've decided it's going to be a steel chair to start things off. And a steel chair is not a bad choice. <laughs> Spoofy Chick says she wants a stop sign. So Spoofy Chick says she wants a stop sign. I'm sure the real McKeel will oblige with that as well. That's right. Steel chair coming down, but next could be that stop sign. Well, I tell you what, yeah. both these men, you know, and finally, wait a minute, it's, a, oh, it's a race, it's a race. Oh! And Gino gets there, gets to real real McKeel first, said, Let's get let's get this chair. No worries. I'm gonna take you out first. Oh, and look at this. Oh my the dirty the dirty wrestling coming in, scratching, raking the chest. But you better be careful when you're in the ring with Gino Rivera. I, go, I mean, what what's going on with all the chirpiness tonight? Everyone's got a message, and they're letting the LIW universe know about it. Well, one thing you need to know about it, Gino Rivera, is those weapons are free to use. Two weapons are released, and if we get another 400, another weapon will be released. That's right. We are doing the fire sale. Every weapon must go. Let's get a hype train going. Every oh. bit you drop, you rewrite history. And splitting the fingers. Here's the thing. Your fingers are small, but you can, you can get a lot of pain and a uh -oh. lot of torque going on those things. Uh-oh. 
Well, Gino Rivera says that chair is for me. Well, you better get to start to use it. And I tell you, going for a cover here. Going for a cover. Gets him down. And Molina says, ouch. And ouch is right. He split the the, the ring and the middle finger of the real McKeel over that turnbuckle. My goodness. Why? Well, listen, I'm not here to, to display anybody's. Whoa! 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 Nick Gallo, that is not your place. What was he thinking? I don't know. Putting his hands on, on a superstar here. I'm kind of surprised, but to be honest. Yeah, I, well, rule number one, if you're a ref, you don't touch the talent. Well, Nick Gallo, just go ahead and throw that out the window. Well, you know, we have we have seen a few refs here say they've had enough of people not listening. Maybe this is part of that. Oh! Whoa, going after the fingers now. My goodness, look at the eyes of Gino Rivera. This young man, that's right. He knows right where the camera's at at all times. It sure seems like, and he's certainly making sure to leave that impression. That's right. Goodness. Trying to remove the digits, and look at that paying dividends right there. You better be careful, though. You could you could rip apart fingers, what have you. But if the fist still closes, you're still going to get hit right across the jaw. That's right. And look at that. He's checking his teeth right there. Might have lost another one. Yeah, well, he's going to leave here looking toothless, if you ask me, if he continues to take right hands by the real McKeel. And the, the real McKeel understands this is LIW, live interactive wrestling. The fans are in control, and they have released two weapons. And so far, we might not have seen one used, but it looks like we're about, oh, oh, my about goodness. to. If he would have hit him with that, his it would have shattered his hips. My God, goodness. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Baseball slide gets all of that. Well, he, you know, listen, Gino Rivera. That and oh, the, with the disrespect. That's I right. mean, it's like he's coming to leave a message, and a message we are seeing. And look at the brutality on display. I don't remember the last time I saw the real McKeel this dominated and this disrespected. To be perfectly honest. Well, yeah, absolutely. I, you know, we we welcome all comers, all champions to the Knox Pro Domain, and right now. Gino Rivera, highly disrespectful to where he's at and his surroundings right now. That's right. Going in for the pin. And Keep those out. bits of dropping, though. I see you down there, Molina. Good to see you, as always. You are strong, Real McKeel. Well, we certainly hope that he is able to stay strong and weather the storm right now. That is Gino Rivera. But it's up to you, the LIW universe. Keep those bits dropping so we can release more weapons so they can continue the carnage and rewriting history, courtesy of all you, the LIW fans. We go duck to the clothesline, the real McKeel. Oh, goes. Cover, cover. Two. Used his quickness there, but was not able to pull it out. Oh, and there we go. Gino Rivera, big time shot. Boy, and he has another weapon unleashed. Gino Rivera can release another weapon. Wow, I mean, message sent. He said, that's your mother, your brother, your sister, your aunt, uncle, whoever. He's letting you know the target does not stop there. That's right. Going after everybody out there. Does oh, not he's ripping those fingers again. He is trying to permanently hurt the real McGill at this point. And Big Ella time bit drop there by Spoofy Chicks. Good to see you. Grayscale Grim says, super heel, Gino. Well, listen, you know, I, I don't know what he is. I'll tell you this. He certainly runs his mouth and makes an impression, that's you know. Right. Names be damned, and Street Glide Pablo wants to see the stop sign. That's right. We've got we got three votes for the stop sign. Get this stop sign going. Oh, but right now, trying well, the to only thing they got to stop is him trying to rip the very arm and finger. Oh, did you hear that? I think he might have snapped something. No! Oh my goodness! Not another one. Here's the thing. Oh my God! Make it stop. This is getting uncomfortable at this point. He is trying to seriously hurt the real McKeel. If the real McKeel was thinking about being a concert pianist after all this, he better throw that out the window. My goodness. My goodness. And Spoofy Chicks calling on the stop sign. Again, these gentlemen have the opportunity. Cover. Here we go. Oh, rolls it back in. You know, not oh. waiting long for that. Drops a big knee across the forehead and might be trying to set him up for a submission here. Well, a submission and a ground game is what... Gino Rivera has showed us so far right here. He is willing to go at, to any length to really hurt and maim the real McKeel. Yeah. That's right. Here we go. That, oh, that thing has that blasted. Go. The fans are calling on the stop sign. The LIW universe wants to see that stop sign. Here we go. 
And there we go. Drops and bow. Three with the Pablo rip. said, hit the horn. They hit the horn. I promise they hit the corn. Oh, but look at this. What? Dino says he's his own man. Not listening to anybody. Getting that kendo stick. And the... Uh, Oh, there we go. Agility on display. Well, no, they no, called for the stop sign. No, they said stop dummy. sign. Oh! Well, that puts a halt and a oh, stop to goodness. all the trash talk. Now the whipping begins. That's right. I bet he wish he would have chose that stop sign. My goodness. And here we go. Oh! oh. Across the lower spine. How about another oh, another one. Another one. Goodness gracious me. Keep those bits dropping. If you drop another 300 bits, the next weapon will be released, and it could be the stop sign. That's right. But and here we point, go, going into a blatant choke, and a, clearly the real McKeel. Look at this, the real McKeel. I think, honest, honestly, Gino Rivera has that gotten under the skin of the real McKeel. You think? I mean, we've seen the aggressive <laughs> side of the real McKeel, but, it, you know, to bring it out of him like that, Gino Rivera, the constant disrespect, this is the receipt to that disrespect. Yeah, real McKeel not. Oh. oh, across the back. Well, the real McKeel knows what the LIW universe wants, and they want the stop sign. And there it is. Well, I, I said it earlier, this whole posturing, we've seen it all on Nice little bit drop there by Street Glide Pablo. We are less than 300 bits away. We will release another weapon. Another weapon will be released at just under 300 bits. Here's the thing about the real McKeel. If you do not give him respect, he will take it. And biting the fingers again. Risking disqualification, but going in anyways. Big boot downstairs. Oh! Oh, oh and I got another big pit drop. There we go with Spoofy Chicks with 100. It's Very nice. Late drop. Two. There it is. It's oh, no. No, not yet. 124 bits, and we will release another weapon. 124. We are close to releasing another weapon. There we go, and Gino Rivera. Well, I'm barely surprised that Gino Rivera up. has people actually rooting for him in the comment section. Graceful Grim seems to be pretty much on the side of the, the Gino Rivera, and I'm not quite sure why. Everybody loves a bad guy. You need to have someone to hate. Everybody needs the bad guy. I guess so, but the LIW Universe wants the stop sign. They got 124 bits to go, and the stop sign could be released. There we go, the Rima kill. Getting his target set. Well, you see, you see what happened here? The real McKeel came in, you know, trying to prove a point, make a message to the locker room, mm -hmm. but now you pissed him off. Now we're seeing the aggressive side. Now we're seeing that side of the real McKeel that isn't very nice, the diabolical, the mean side of the real McKeel, if you will. That's right, taking it back. Cover. But here we go, get in Two. over. No. But you know, Rivera, for all the talking you did, you got to do a little bit more. It's the wrong time to get under the skin of the real McKeel. That's the issue that I see right here taking place. Well, the story is this. The real McKeel came in to send a message to someone that was making their debut. You disrespect this company. You disrespect the Knox Portal. I mean, now you get this side of the real McKeel. You get the vicious, angry, vile side. I do agree with you 100% on that. But with this, you got to remember... As aggression grows, as you get angry and angry and you start seeing red, you start making mistakes. And Gino Rivera is counting on a mistake by the real McKeel. And well, he, well, he better be careful climbing up that top rope is almost said. That's a very, very risky proposition right there. 1395. We are 105 away from releasing another weapon. Here we go. Off Whoa. the top. Lands it. That could there be it. Is, that but, could be it. But he's got to cover, out. though. He's got to cover him. Well, it's, I think a lot, a lot has been taken out of Gino Rivera. We've seen him taken. We've been seeing a lot of, but oh, there One, he goes. He gets it in. Two, three, no. Oh, I thought that oh, was it. Oh, my goodness. Gino almost with an upset here tonight against the real McKeel. My goodness. My goodness. How close could you be? Two and three fourths. I mean, that was so, so close. And what an upset it would be. All the wear, the tear, the kendo shit, stick shots. <laughs> And now throwing a temper tantrum like a seven-year-old. And Gino can't believe it. Neither can we. He is not He's, he's telling the LIW universe, we need 100 bits, and he can release that stop sign they want. 100 bits. There we go. But what's he thinking? Maybe he's going back up to the top, going to try it again. Maybe trying to use that athleticism once more, if you will. What? Uh, all right. Wait, he threw something in the ring. I'm not exactly sure what there that was. was. An elbow pad I couldn't really see over there. I guess it might be part of his temper tantrum at this point. Oh, he's going up. I think I think this might be it. 
He might he's be going over. for the it's Brooklyn over. Stomp. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Stomp. Stomp. Whoa. Whoa, misses with the Brooklyn Stomp. Oh, and might have hurt himself there. Real McGill coming in, blocks the shot. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, you want to talk about knees to the face. And here we go. Vicious McKeel knee. Driver. Oh. McKeel driver. McKeel driver. Cover. One, two, three. It's over. Oh, that quick. Here it is. Here is your winner. The real McKeel. You might as well call up Momentum Killer. The, the real McKeel, in a matter of seconds, turned this contest upside down and in his favor, comes away with the W, courtesy of the McKeel driver. My goodness, Gino Rivera came in there, a house of fire, leaving a house of cards laid out, courtesy of the real McKeel. Listen, ultimate respect to any athlete that puts their body on the line and steps between those four ropes. That being said, you sit there and disrespect this company, you got what was coming to you, if you ask me. Absolutely, the real McKeel going to a level we haven't seen him go to in a little while, getting that getting that pure anger. I mean, I really think he worked out some demons tonight. Yeah, I can tell him, you got knocked out exactly. That is a former Urban Empire champion. That is a former ECC champion. That is a former double champion. I mean, the list of accolades goes on and on when you're talking about the real McKeel. And to come in here and think, Gino Rivera, to think that he could disrespect our turn, the Knox for Domain, and our OG, the 12 year veteran in the real McKeel, he had another thing coming. That's right, the real McKeel taking that chair. Maybe later on he can get Gino to sign it. This is what knocks you out. Absolutely. <laughs> and again, take nothing away from the effort and the you know ability of Gino Rivera. He is the Frank Sinatra of the Spanish Mafia. He did well. He came in and tried to prove a point. Maybe it did a little too much of this mm -hmm. and comes out on the wrong side of a big heel driver. I mean, here's the thing. He went up to that top rope trying to get that Brooklyn stop. Had he maybe taken a little less time, he might have nailed it. and We might be calling Gino's name as the winner. It was that close. That's right. One less temper tantrum, and here we are. Yeah, you were absolutely right. <laughs> I, mean, I call it like I see it. What, oh, what an God. absolutely extraordinary night it has been, however. Let's kind of rewind for just one moment. What a phenomenal showing it was for all the ladies. Giuseppe Marie, CC Chanel, and Sarah the Rebel coming away with the W tonight. That's right. Pulling off a victory against a very game of Viva Van, Maserati, and Estrella getting in there. And I'm telling you, this, this, this ladies' division is just growing and growing and growing. And the talent is immense. I'm telling you, we need to get a championship. We need to get ta I mean, there's so many things that need to happen. But all six of those ladies are putting on a great show. But like you said, Set Marie able to turn the tide for her team and get up a victory. A championship is certainly what they deserve. But again, that, that is all the powers above, if you will. Let's talk about, oh, however, the effort that continues to be put in by the women's division. I think it is a credit and a testament to all the LIW universe. You have called on it and they have responded to your calls each and every week. They come in here and show up and show out. We saw the best of five series with Danica De La Rouge and Viva Van. We continue to see the likes of Maserati, Estrella, and so many others make their debut over the past few months. Pray of the Slayer. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And it only shows you the depth of our women's division. Just a few weeks ago, we had the turmoil match. We saw Liz, we saw Susie. Yes, it's, it's a phenomenal crop of talent. That's right, that's right. And here's the thing, here's the thing. This crop of talent is only growing. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if you want to get in on this and be a part of this, you need to be there August 15th. Right now, we're going headstrong into Lucha Libre Powerbomb. You can see that August 15th, it's gonna be un- Unbelievable. Absolutely. I mean, look at the flyer. You see the MK Twins. You see Chimera. You see Vampiro, El Presidente, the real McKeel, TMD, so many others. You do not want to miss it. Make sure you go to KnoxPro.com. Hit the box office. Get your tickets today. That's right. And then when you're out there, we want to see you in all the gear from head to toe from KnoxPro.com backslash shop get on out there get the merch ultimate loose t-shirt samoa dynasty reversible uh reversible beanies and that that beautiful hoodie that we have yeah the we puff had up hoodies those are hoodies. absolutely brand new and look great and stand out and of course the ultimate loose t-shirt with the legendary yokozuna staring you down and whoever might be across the table front that's right that's right so we hope to see you guys out there looking good and we can't we can't we can't 
can't forget about all the couch wrestlers out there. That's right. Sit back there looking at what's going on right now, saying I can get in the ring and slap some people around. I can get on the microphone and call some shots. Put your money where your mouth is. Get on out here. Knox Pro Academy is waiting for you in beautiful Los Angeles, California. Your journey is right alongside all the athletes you see in that photo right there. Those athletes have made the decision and the dedication to show up to the training, get the knowledge presented by the one and only, the Count of California Black Pearl, the WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi. That's That in itself is phenomenal, but it goes beyond that. They teach you the life lessons of this industry in and out of the ring. You will learn how to conduct yourself in that moment. When you finally reach the precipice of moving up and forward in this industry, these legends of this business will ring true in your ear when you are prepared to move forward with your career. That's right. Just like with any industry, there's an etiquette, there's an ins and out of what you need to know and, and just special knowledge that you can gain here. And no one else is going to give you that knowledge other than, as you were saying, the, the County of California and the Hall of Famer Rikishi. I look sure. forward to the return of the Count of California at our live show August 15th. That is going to be historic. I hope each and every one of the LIW Universe tunes in. I'm talking to each and every one of you that made an impression tonight. Grayscale Grimm, Spoofy Chicks, Awesome Kong, all... Uh, well, as you can see... Uh, I know good. that's not Parisi. You know that's not Parisi. If you're in the production truck... I mean, we're waiting on you. Yeah, we got a little bit of time left at the end. Now we got two. Now we got two. Oh, another one. <laughs> that, that, that was, that was, all right. it's, it's, now we got three. How many are we going to have? I mean, I can't tear their heads off. I can try, but their heads don't oh pop my goodness, off. There's, there's chickens this everywhere. This is ridiculous. What the hell is going on? Production team, can we get a little bit of help here? Yeah, a little, trying a little. to close the show here. We're trying. And all I see is a bunch of chickens. Chickens just popping up all I over the place. I haven't even looked this way yet. There's one in between us. You see this? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Can we get to the main event, please? I know. I've been trying to recap what happened tonight. My goodness, the chickens are showing up anymore. All right. We also saw tonight, <laughs> we also saw tonight, other than a chicken flying towards us in the booth, we also saw tonight uh, Gino Rivera coming out there and not even letting the real McKeel get off his gear before he came in there throwing lefts, rights, and whatever. But the real McKeel needing to go to another place, dig down deep to pull out a victory against, I mean, Gino Rivera, very impressive uh, in, in his loss tonight. I mean, who else has shown the utter disrespect that he showed against the real McKeel and lasted more than two minutes with it? I don't disagree <laughs> with you there. That I mean, like I told you, the real McKeel driver can just basically call the momentum killer at this point. Gino Rivera had every bit of momentum going, and as soon as he got hit with the McKeel driver, he was down and out. That's right, and that was one Two, three, that was done. Make sure you follow all things Knox Pro. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, everything Knox Pro to make sure you're updated weekly mm -hmm. with everything going on as far as Powerbomb, as far as our first live show back in 2021, Lucha Libre Powerbomb. That's right. And make sure you're staying up on the Rikishi Driver Talk Show. Make sure you guys are checking that out. One of the hottest trending podcasts out there with none other than Rakishi giving you knowledge inside the business, outside the business. This guy's done it all, done it everywhere, and you better believe he's got some knowledge that he's dropping on, and he's got plenty of friends to bring on with Absolutely. Him. Season 2 has been phenomenal so far. If you are not subscribed already, make sure to go to all streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple, everything, anything that's streaming, make sure to buy it. Yeah. We do have a bit of news we need to cover, however, so for the next two weeks, we are going to be off. It gives the wrestlers and all the talent in the back the opportunity to continue to grow as we move forward towards our live show. We will be back in two weeks. That's right. Two weeks to gear up and get ready for August 15th. But you better believe when we come back to Twitch, we're looking for you. We're looking for you. I say it again. We're looking for you to come on out, show up and show out like you do each and every week. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's been an absolute wonder and an absolute ride. Absolutely. And it will only be a two two short weeks. After that, we will get right back to nothing. And the great news is August 15th, our live show, we will be streaming live. So you want to make sure you are a part of history. You are there August 15th, Lucha Libre Powerbomb live, and we will be streaming live on Twitch. It's going to be off the hook, off the chain, off of everything. Just leave the chickens at home. Yeah, the no only chicken I want to see <laughs> August 15th 
is the ECC champ himself. So I'm calling on you, champ. I told you I'd meet you at the airport. I'd grab your bags for you. Whatever I have to do to get you there, the only chicken I want to see August 15th is Mr. VIP. Well, ECC, extra crispy chicken. No? Maybe. That could be That could be the ECC champ. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. Here, champ. Champ, you need it's to so come back. You need to come back. Put Get him. Get him. Put some respect on your name. You got to show up. We got to see you. August 15th. Come on, man. Let's do this. No more chickens, please. Jesus <laughs> Christ. For Dan Nicole Brady, he is James Jeremiah. This has been Powerbomb.